Okay. Are we both level five now? I'm level five. I am level five. I'm pretty sure you are. I think you're leveling faster than I am. Yeah. So then, are we playing this on easy mode or? <laughs> How has it been so far? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like we've been doing better again, but sorry. I'll grab my plate of food that I'm munching on. Yeah. Which somehow the puppy has not eaten yet. He is waiting to eat my, my food. Okay, bye. Um, this is like uh, we're gonna have wave after wave of demons to contend with. So it's a question of, I guess it's a question of how well do we think we can survive that? I have 18 hit points now. It seems pretty sizable. I have 14 hit points, but typically I'm not getting hit very much. Just my guys are getting hit. Yeah. How many, how many rounds do we have to do? I don't know. I haven't actually read the thing. 10 rounds. OK. Um, Ooh. I'm trying to get out all the demons that we need. Just need to survive. Yeah, and Hale has to survive. So that's extra fun. Oh, yeah. Flame demon. It's a protection quest. And night demons. OK, I've got all my demons. Are they going to be regular demons? Yeah. Okay. All the ones are normal. So for those of you watching us set up at home, today on my board, Mark will look like his former self, and I will look like my former self, because my puppy ate our characters. So now, yeah, super exciting. And let the record show, I did not leave them on the floor or any place like that. They were in the box, and he climbed up onto a table and then got into the box and ate the characters. He's very magical now. <laughs> Extra magical. Also. I got it. Oh, my. Nice. Um, so, somebody in my neighborhood is coming in the way. Each card, hmm. each card gives you tips on like how that card is useful in a hand and, and what you should bet and stuff for poker. In, in poker, sweet. So it's a good way of like learning how to play poker and a little bit on probability and stuff like that. But you have, you're I'm doing terrible. research on game scaffolding, sort of. Yes. Well, sort of. Sort of. <laughs> but I thought Very this would be useful. So do you want this? Um, maybe. Mail it to you. That would be cool. Thank you. Because um, understanding, I mean, I'm looking at software scaffolding, uh -huh. but that's still, I mean, it's all related because it's yeah. informal, informal scaffolding. Okay. Is that everything I need? Maybe. Is this a long-term research project or is it? Oh, it's for my dissertation. So, and oh. potentially, potentially career. I have many ideas. And my advisors keep saying, scale it back a bit. <laughs> okay, so, so it can wait till October. <laughs> I can give it to you at the Nslaga meeting. Yes, you can absolutely wait to give it to me in October. I don't need it right this second. Hold on, I can't reach my drinks. I can reach my food, but not my drinks. You have two drinks? I have, well, I'm still drinking coffee, but then I also have. Hola. Ola Brew. Oh shit, I didn't get an alcoholic drink, should I? <laughs> I'm just in lavender, it's Friday, so I figured that I, once I finish my coffee, I get to drink my drink. Ola is in Kona, and they like use all local ingredients, so I'm like being super hipster over here with my, with my cool. alcoholic beverage. 
it's Hawaii and we're like it's we'll a local a stuff. Beer or something later. All right. Okay. And I have my pile of snacks, which is actually my lunch. Good. I can't move the camera. Off. Nice. You guys made those? No. Oh. oh, wait. Robin is a baker, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. But it's basically pie dough with cinnamon and sugar rolled up in it. But the secret ingredient is panko. There's a really? little bit of panko in the in the uh, cinnamon sugar mixture, or not just cinnamon sugar. Sorry, I, and butter. <laughs> butter is key. <laughs> yeah, you need butter. But there's panko in there, so that I the sugar becomes liquidy. Mm -hmm. And with the butter, the panko sort of prevents it from just like melting all over, like completely out, out of the thing. And it makes that it makes a little bit crunchy. That sounds like the perfect cinnamon bun because to me, and I know that this is sacrilegious, cinnamon buns are like too big and too sweet and too everything. I'm oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, cinnamon these, are, these aren't these aren't like um these aren't like cinnabon cinnamon rolls. These are um pie crust cinnamon rolls, you know. I'm all about pie crust with cinnamon sugar on it. That's what we do when we have leftover pie crust from making pie. Yeah, we exactly. Make, like, cookies. And then we decided why do we have to wait till we have leftover pie crust? Let's just make it. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. I'm so sad that I lost our people. Yeah. And the ridiculous part about it is that I found the, the what was left over. The people were gone. It was just the base. And I was like, I don't know what this is at all. Oh, well. And now I'm like, it was that. That's so funny. <laughs> <Do you, laughs> Idiot dog free to good home. <laughs> you know what? Do you have a 3D printer? I don't. I've been thinking about getting one, but I don't have one. I bet the figures are online somewhere. Mm, that's a good call. Okay, anyways. Anyway. So we were trying to decide whether we're playing easy or hard. Oh, yeah. Or easy or regular, I guess. Well, I have to be somewhere at four, so let's make it easy. <laughs> okay, so that's level two. Okay. So we're both level five now, which means the easy, the level of difficulty has gone up by one, right? Mm-hmm. Um, okay. And <clears throat> as a reminder to our viewers, we are sort of like backtracking and doing a bunch of uh, missions that we could have done earlier, but we decided not to because we followed a different path. But now we're sort of doing them uh, to, one, to sort of like beef up our characters a little bit, but then also to unlock certain achievements or party uh, unlocks and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Before we uh, move forward with the main thing, which I think is going to be tackling a big boss or something like that, right? Um. Our options are to go back to that one where the, the um, court, what is it, what was it? Um, he was a, oh, the orchid, like just went charging in swinging a sword. Oh yeah, so yeah, yeah. We that, failed miserably yeah. with that one within like five minutes. Mm -hmm. So that's one of our options for non side quest. And the other one, we fought our way part way up a mountain and then got distracted, so. All right. There was another quest that we did for the Nasaga week. We uh, tried to fight, fight a boss guy and lost. No, we won the Nasaga week, didn't we? Oh, no, you're right. We won. Like we won. Yeah, we won. We just like barely. Slightly. Yeah. There was minor cheating. Right. I remember now. Minor, minor cheating. <laughs> no. It was very minor. It's, it was borderline not cheating, but it was sort of cheating. <laughs> I'm not sure that can hold up in a court. It was only slightly cheating. <laughs> it was correcting a mistake. You picked up the wrong card. I guess that's why there's different murder levels. <laughs> it was only slightly murder instead of full-on murder. <laughs> it's really bad. 
<laughs> this was only slightly cheating. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, maybe so, it was like manslaughter to cheating. It was unintentional cheating until we intentionally did it. But it's not like we went into the game thinking this is what we're going to be doing. That would be premeditated cheating. It wasn't premeditated cheating. It was, oh crap, I picked up the wrong card cheating. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> That's why you have save games and digital games. Yeah, we totally just went to the save point. Mm -hmm. Okay. We, um, so anyways, we have to do a city event. Um, mm. Right, let me get my decks. Okay. All right. Card yeah, number guess. 22 is our city event. 22. All right. You decide to head to the Brown Door for the evening to enjoy a quatrille concert. Corruption and crime run rampant in the bar, but the music is unmatched in all of Gloomhaven. You are enjoying yourself immensely when you get a glimpse of a man in a dark, tattered robe near the back of the room. He appears to be handing vials full of red liquid to a second man. Option A, further investigate the exchange between the men, or option B, leave the criminal element alone and continue enjoying the show. I mean, I know I would just leave them all. I'd be like, whatevs. <laughs> but you're a paladin now. What, we think it's like illegal liquid? Vials full of red liquid. Depending on what game you're playing, that's either a health potion or somebody's blood. <laughs> exactly. It might just be wine. <laughs> I guess it could be, but, you know, vials? You don't drink vials of wine. Vials is either a health potion <laughs> or... Good point. So I guess we should investigate. <laughs> I am compelled to investigate. Okay. We're investigating. You subtly move in the direction of the men, monitoring their actions with your peripheral vision. You recognize the dark robes from the run-ins you have had with cultists in the area, and as you get closer, you become convinced that the vials being traded contain blood. See, I told you blood. You grab the men and cause a huge amount of commotion as you fight to drag them outside and foil their dealings. You are able to hand them off to the proper authorities, but it may be a while before you are allowed back in the brown door. The concert was ruined. Great gain to reputation. So it's oh, reputation. Right. Nice. Is that a destroy the card one or put it back in the thing? It is a destroy the card one. Okay. We are up to reputation 19 now. I think we get to do something cool when we hit reputation 20. Let me see. Cool. That's one of those like extra unlock guys, I think. Where is it? Oh, here we go. Yeah, once we hit 20, we get some more, a new city event and a new road event. So nice. Deck. Okay, I'm drawing a card okay. for so road event. event. Uh, road event number 24. Okay. Um, you come across a group of browbeaten Enox or Inox trudging down the path in the opposite direction as you. Some are pulling carts laden with various miscellany, mostly furs and crudely crafted goods. The rest have armloads of much of the same. It is obvious that this is everything the Enox have, their life's worth in their arms and wagons. They are all covered in what appears to be soot. Oh no, these are the people we totally, the other people totally brutalized. <laughs> the shaman at the head of the group calls to you. The beast awakens. The mountain is aflame. Beware, you do not anger it. Looking to the horizon, you can see black smoke rising from a far off peak. Option A, aid the Enochs with what they are carrying, or option B, ignore the shaman's ramblings. I think we should help them. Yeah, I think we should help them too. Okay, you take pity on the disheveled group of Enochs forced from their home by a natural disaster. You travel with them for a time, treating their wounds and helping to lighten their loads. The shaman thanks you and hands you an amulet. We can't return to our homes until the beast rests. No, sorry. That was my phone. Um, I fear that what this may mean for us all, I hope this keeps you safe. Uh, gain 20 collective gold 
discard two cards each and unlock Burning Mountain, which is a scenario. Discard two cards each? Yep. As in from our hand, like these guys? I think so, but we can't gain five gold a piece. I thought you said 20 uh, collective. No, ten, 10 collective gold. So that's only five each. Yeah, we got to discard cards. That's quite bad for me, but that's okay. Let's do like that. What can I discard to start? Oh, I'll discard that guy. I shouldn't have even brought that guy with me. Terrible card. Discard two cards, that sucks. And I guess I'll discard that guy. Yeah, I definitely brought the wrong cards with me. I needed to change to something else. And I didn't think to do that. Oh, well. Okay. Oh, discard, not lo not lost. Right? Not lost, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's just like one one turn. That is yeah. not as bad as I thought it was. It looks like with the replacement miniatures situation, there's somebody on eBay selling them, but it looks like Oh, they even are selling the two that, but then I would have an extra of this ex other one. How much are they selling them for? It looks like 10 bucks for a pack of three. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's hilarious that the two I need actually. D, E, F, if I might, oh, dang. Yours is out of stock, but mine is in stock. All right, I'll have to look at that later. Or just create my own yeah. weird ones. There's a lot of really good miniatures out there these days. Yeah, there's a lot of people who do really nice ones, like exciting ones to enhance your experience. But I'm also artsy, so I might just make some. Oops. Okay. I'm going to read the intro. Okay. We're going to the ruinous rift. We have to protect Hale for 10 yes, rounds. Sir. On the way back to the ruinous rift, sorry, the ruinous crypt, Hale seems almost happy as she trudges through the mud with you, eager to help fight back demons and the undead. It's been so long since I've been outside of Gloomhaven, she says, swaying the elemental sensor back and forth as she walks. The city is necessary for my studies, but it feels good to take a small break and travel this plane again, and with so much less danger this time as well. You look at the Aether questioningly. Sure, cultists and demons aren't exactly friendly encounters, but last time I traveled these lands, well, that is something I swear I would never speak of. Hell grows silent until you arrive at the crypt. Opening the ancient doors, you half expect the place to be teeming with cultists and demons once again, but the stone halls are as silent and barren as death. You move towards the main chamber where you find the giant rift hovering above a demonic altar. Well, you certainly weren't kidding, Hale says. This thing is a beauty. The girth and stability, quite impressive. Hale walks around the perimeter of the altar, throwing sand in the air and watching it fall. I'm pretty sure I can close it, thanks to old Stonebreaker sensor here. I can't imagine the forces on the other side of this rift are going to be all too happy about it, though. Hale raises the sensor above her head with one arm and plunges the other elbow deep into the rift. Gather round, ladies and gentlemen. This is going 
sorry, just ladies. Uh, this is going to be one <laughs> killer party. Special rules. Okay, so Hale's in the center here. Yep. I'm going to use this figure for her. Um, I think she's only got eight hit points. Hmm. Wait, I can't use this figure for her. Because you're using it for one of our characters. Um, I'm just going to have her be A. That's four plus two times L hit points. Yeah. Well, is the level. So, yeah, she's only got eight hit points. She's an ally to you. I think all monster types. Has an initiative of 99 for the purpose of monster focusing. If Hale is killed, scenario is lost. At the end of the first round, one demon spawns on hex B here. At the end of the second round, one demon spawns on C. And then after that, at the end of each round, there's two different demons spawning there and then there and back and forth. Uh, type of demon spawns will cycle night, wind, frost, sun, earth, flame. All spawns are normal. Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's last 10 rounds. Um, I mean, the good news is, is that I can summon, I'll, I can do some summoning and then, sorry, I feel like you, there we go. Um, so I can fill in around us. Yeah, where, where should we start? Um, the first one spawns at B. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll start right here. And then the next one spawns on C. I'm actually going to go, I'm going to go kind of like straight behind her so that I can spawn to either side. So okay. like, yeah, alter, heal me. Mm -hmm. So that I can do lots of spawning. But we get a whole turn to set up. Because the first one doesn't spawn until the end of round one. Oh, we got to do these things. Oh, yeah. Pick the one where you have to open a door. <laughs> yeah, don't pick that one. There's no door. That's why I'm mad at myself, because I didn't think about that when I didn't change my deck. Because I picked, I've got one brought with me that's all about walking around, and I don't need to walk around. I literally stand in place and summon things. So, oops. Okay, two cards for you. Okay. Okay, I don't, I can't do that one. So I'm gonna do this one to look, well, except I can't apparently handle cards right now. I'm not, not sure you can read it. There we go. Okay. So this is mine. Okay. Okay. So does that mean I should just like go right here? I guess. It's like we get to throw away cards for a turn. Yeah. Ooh, I, I should just bless you and your summons this turn or something like that. What? Oh, I need to turn off notifications. Sorry. It's okay. Okay. I have uh, 65. Um, I have 
25, I guess, since it doesn't matter this term. Okay. Okay. Um, I am summoning my two shadow wolves, one on either side. So like one right next to you. Wait, don't do it one on the other side. side. Do mm -hmm. one. If you do that, so I'm going to try to go next to you. Or I mean, if you move here, then that's fine too. Can you move after you do that? I can, yeah. Because then I can go in between you and bless all three of you, and you'll get three bless cards. Oh, yeah. Okay, I can move back. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me. Uh... Mm -hmm. One, two, three, one, two, and purple four, two, two, and I get two points for that. Okay, and then I guess I move back a space. Bump. Okay. And that's my turn. All right, my turn. I'm moving here and I'm blessing. You get three blessed cards. <laughs> cool. I like blessed cards. Should have done that one. Oh well. You're right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and a, a demon appears. Night demon. Yep. Okay, next round. I'm still shuffling, sorry. Okay. Now what am I gonna do? Wow, I should have done this first. Well. My cards suck. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I'd love to hear that. Guess I'll just do that. Am I done with coffee? No, I'm not. Yeah, so then after this, someone's going to appear there. Yeah. And actually, my wolf is going to be in the wrong spot because it's going to try to hit this guy. So yeah. both of my wolves are going to be over there. Maybe I'll try to go later so that I can see where your wolves go and then react. But anyways, I got 68. I have 55. Okay, it has 22. It's going to move three. Uh, oh, no. It moves one, two, and attacks your wolf. Yeah. If Dang. we want, we can move it I here. Would you rather it be over here? Well, yes, because then uh, my other wolf can move and protect Hale. Okay. But. Okay, so it moves here, attacks your wolf for four. Ah, crap. Four plus zero. My wolf is dead. That was Which fast. One's that? that was fast. Stupid wolf. What? Throwing food at myself. Okay, and then and there's a um, a darkness. Uh, Symbol now. Oh, cool. 
I can use those, I think, sometimes. Okay. Now it's your turn. Okay. So this wolf goes one, two. Yeah, to there. So be between the altar and the guy. Mm -hmm. And it hits for two and pierce. Oh, but attackers gain disadvantage, right? Yeah. Crap. All right. So, uh-oh. <laughs> so my options are bless or or a wound with roll. What? Which one's better? I guess maybe I need to see what a wound with roll does. And heal self one and plus one. So wound and and three damage or four damage. I don't know which one's better. I don't know which one's better either. <laughs> um, yeah, I have no idea. Does it say somewhere? I bet it doesn't because I bet they didn't ever expect that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it... based on damage alone, then the wound one, but that's a persistent. That's a persistent. So. Where would it be? Disadvantage, right? Advantage mm -hmm. and disadvantage. Two modified cards in our deck, use whichever one is worse. Rolling modifiers are disregarded in the case of disadvantage. If two rolling modifier cards are drawn, continue to draw cards until a rolling modifier is not played. And then only apply the modifier of the last card drawn. So uh, the rolling modifier is negated and it's the two times damage is the worst one because that's the only one that qualifies. Okay, but then I get to, then I get to do rolling modifier, right? I don't think so because well, it's one or the other, right? Well, but the it it said it was it was negated for the purposes of disadvantage. It didn't say it permanently, right? What did it say? Let me look. For disadvantage, you you draw two cards and you pick the one that's worse. Right, which would have been the rolling modifier one because the other one. No, you is you you ignore rolling modifier cards. Oh, so I don't get to use any of these rolling modifier cards? Those are right. now not right. useful. Right. Okay, so then it's the plus one one, I guess. No, no, it's the two times one. No, the rolling modifier the one is just like so. You get two, you get two draws. The rolling modifier one disqualifies itself as one of the things. So it's the two, it's the other one that gets applied, which is two times. <laughs> are you sure? I thought that it That's just what it meant says. Rolling modifier cards are disregarded. If two rolling modifier cards are drawn, then you continue to draw. Oh, okay. That makes no sense. There's only one left over, and that's the one that's worse, even though it's two times. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'll do two times damage to him, but... For an advantage, okay, so then... if, if, if you get a rolling modifier in, a, in an advantage draw, then you add mm -hmm. that effect to the other draw. You both That's cards count. Awesome. Okay. Okay. So then I do. Then he does two times the damage, which is four. Uh, which is four. Yes. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then I am. Is he within range two of me? He is not. This is ridiculous. Okay. Um, I'm just, I guess, going to go over there and whack the night demon to try to get those last two points. So I'm hitting the night demon for two after moving. And it's still disadvantaged, so plus zero or plus zero, so I hit for two. Oh, you killed him. Demon is dead. That makes and that makes life easier. Um, and then I'm going to use my minor stamina potion because I'm already like way low on cards. So yeah. let me pull some cards off here. 
Um, yeah, it's terrible. Wow. Okay. I am going to move one, two, three here. Okay. Then I'm going to um, make it so that I lose this card permanently, but um, for the whole rest of the scenario, I have retaliate two. Cool. Except my attacks are at mi minus one. Oh. Which I don't know if that's good or not. I'm, I'm trying to be a tank. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay. Um, okay, so now a wind demon appears. Yes. Right here. And we're on to round three. So wait, when they spawn at the end, they don't get a turn, right? I don't think so. You don't get okay. a you don't get a turn on your spawn usually. You do get a turn yeah, if you appear. If we open if they were door. already spawned, and we walked into a room, they would get a turn. Yeah. But I think they use the same the different different terminology. I don't think they call that spawning. Okay. It doesn't, yeah. Okay. So this is turn, this is turn three, right? Yes, this is turn three. Uh, okay, I have, um, 23. I have 86. It has 29. Ooh. Um, that doesn't matter, probably, hopefully. I'm going to attack it for two, but plus a stun. Okay. Two plus one plus a stun. So he has a shield of two, so I do one damage. But he's stunned. Sweet. So then, uh, and then I'm also um, not moving. So that's a, just a waste of a card. And then his turn, he just becomes unstunned. And now it's your turn. OK. Um, my wolf goes one, two, three. Over to him, tries to hit him for two. Plus one, and my wolf has two pierce, so he blasts through the shield and hits for three. He dead. All right. Dead. Well, I'm forgetting to put uh, gold down. Right there. And then I am summoning my slime spirit. All right, I already, this guy is dead. Um, and I'm going to summon it right here where the wolf was. And then I'm walking back behind Hale. Actually, I'm going to walk one, two. Wait, where's the next one spawning? At, oh, at yeah, D, -N -E? uh, D N E? Yeah. OK, so then I'm just going to go like right behind Hale. And that is it. That is my turn. Okay. 
So we've got uh, frost and sun. The frost here, I guess, and sun here. Um, yeah, I think in order. Man, that sun demon has a lot of a lot of help and a shield. None of us have taken damage, huh? Well, my wolf did. My one wolf died hardly. Right, right, right. But I mean, there's no point in me casting a heal spell. No, there's really not. All right, I have um, 23. I have uh, uh, 92, I guess. OK, we are, this is round five? No, four. Round four. This is round four. I think it's round four. So we have six more after this. I have to do a short rest or a long rest after this. I might do a long rest since I've got summons out, just so I can choose my cards back. OK. The Frost Demon uh, has 18. It's going to shield itself up for two and then move four and take a damage. It's not taking any damage because there's no fire sign. Oh, you're right. I guess it just moves one space towards me. And that's all it does, right? Well, and shields up, so yeah. Yeah. Okay, my turn. So it has retaliate two and shield two. I don't know if I should attack it. Probably not. If you can't do any damage. I can probably do damage, but it's going to hit back is the problem. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can soak it. I've got 18 hit points now. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to attack it for four plus a stun token. Okay. Four times two. So it's eight dead. minus two for its shield. Oh, uh, yeah. No, it's not dead. It has one left. Um, and it hits me for two, right? Yeah. Um, and there's a sun symbol now. And then I'm going to move. You know what? I'm not going to move. Because, <laughs> like, the next person yeah. that's going to be near me is probably going to spawn right there. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not moving. I am taking a short rest, however. Um, and now it's your turn. Okay. So first my wolf moves oh, over wait. one. Sorry, um, I forgot. I get minus one damage because of this card. So it actually has two hit points. Oh, okay. That's still fine. So my wolf moves over one and tries to hit for two. Um, plus one is three, so it's dead now. My wolf's killing everything. Good job, Wolfie. And then my, hmm? I said, good job, Wolfie. Yeah. Uh, so then my slime spirit goes one, two over to the sun guy. And hits for one and muddle. Hits for times two. Hits for two and muddle. Um, so one, I has two, one two. Oh, hits for one and muddle. And then, then I guess I get to go. Um, so. 
I am going to, it's only round four. All right. Um, I, I'm playing one, two summoned allies within range two perform attack with you controlling the actions. My wolf doesn't have anything to attack, but my slime attacks him again for one plus one. So again, just one damage, which is fine. Um, and I get a experience point. And then that was a bottom, right? Um, I don't really have anything I can do right now. So I'm going to dump that card and that's my turn. But would it be awful if I took a long rest on the next one or should I take a short rest now? If you take a long rest and you are counted as 99, Hale's also 99. Which of you is the earlier 99? Oh, do, did we determine that my summons do their own thing even when I'm yeah. long rested? Yeah. Oh. But the, their 99 is before your 99. But the question is, are you before Hale or after Hale? I'm probably before Hale. Okay, so then it's fine because your summons are still going to do stuff, I think. Yeah, and they should bear the brunt of it. Yeah. Okay, I'm taking a long rest this turn then. This okay. turn. The sun guy has a movement of one, attack of two, range four. Oh, shit. He doesn't there, have to move. Sun, there is a sun symbol, so it's going to attack everybody within range. <laughs> ah, crap. He can't move to get out of um, this guy's influence. And so I think he's just... Oh, he's going to hit hail. Yes. But he doesn't... He He's muddled now, so he doesn't have advantage anymore. He does. He has to move here. Um, Why? Because that way he can maximize, he can hit the other wolf here. Oh, okay. Okay, so the sun guy moves here and then shoots four people. All right, yeah. first line, plus zero. He's got... He's got double disadvantage for the slime because he's next to him and I think it only okay. has anyway, it's, it's a plus zero or plus one, so it's plus zero, but your slime has uh, armor, so it does yes. zero. Zero to the slime, okay, good. And then to you, uh, either a plus one or a times two, we'll take the plus one. So that's- uh, Okay, so three damage. To hail, it's a plus zero or a minus one. So one point to hail. Okay, she's down to seven. For the wolf, it's minus one or plus zero. So one point to the wolf. Okay. And uses up the sun. That I put there so that I could use next turn, damn you. <laughs> <laughs> um, ah. <laughs> all right, next. Uh, Next round, but we have summons again. Um, what's next? Flame and the knight. So flame appears here and knight appears here. Well, we haven't done an earth guy yet. Earth? Earth, earth and then flame. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, earth and flame. Okay, so earth appears here. Flame appears here. Okay, and I have 99. This one is getting lost. Jeez. Okay. I am. Um, man, I can do that something for every day. Okay. Oh, and I heal. Yes.
Give me one minute. It's very quiet and I am suspicious. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -oh. That was the correct move. They were at the neighbor's house. I knew it was too quiet. <laughs> <laughs> They're closed in now, so I won't have to do that again. <laughs> um, I've got 23. Okay. I still have 99. Right. <laughs> Okay, first it's me. Wow, look at all that crap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm awesome. going to shield up for the rest of the scenario. Okay. And then I'm going to. Um, Shield myself for this round. <laughs> so I have two shields right now. So you're extra shieldy? I'm extra shieldy. I have two retaliate and two shield right now. Okay. No, no, thank you. I don't need your help. Okay, the sun demon has a move to attack to target all adjacent enemies. So it's going to move to try to maximize how many it can attack, right? It's gonna yeah. Move attack both of you. Isn't it going to move like one, two and attack all three oh, yeah, of us? Attack Hale. Yeah, you're right. It's going to attack Hale as well. Okay, so first your slime. Um, is it still muddled, the sun demon? No, I guess he's not muddled anymore. Yeah, okay. So Plus one against the uh, slime. The slime has its armor of two, right? Yes. Okay, so, so one, one damage to the slime. Okay. Uh, one damage to you. Okay. And three damage to hail. Okay, so one of us is going to need to heal her, I guess. Okay. Can I heal her? Do I Healing thing. Healer yeah, next turn I can heal her. And the flame demon who's next to me is going to move one space away from me and shoot me. Um, attack of four, range two. So attack of four minus one, so that's three damage on me, and then causes a flame. How many damage on you? Three. I have 13 now. Even with your, even with your shield? Oh, you're right, right. I have two shields. So I'm at 15. OK. And oh, you retaliate. I completely forgot already. I have retaliate, <laughs> but I think it's only melee, isn't it? Unless it depends on if it says there's a range. If there's no range, then it's only melee. It doesn't have a range. Okay. 
Yeah, that doesn't have a range. Sad. Sad. I'm not sure how useful this card is, honestly. Um, Guess we'll see. Okay, next is the stone, the earth demon. Attack a three, range four. I guess he, one, two, three, one, two, three. I guess he attacks my slime guy because technically my slime guy has highest initiative. Yeah, I think that's correct. So attack your slime guy at minus two, zero points of damage to your slime guy. Woohoo. Okay, and so now it's my summons turn? Yep. Okay. So my wolf moves over next to the flame demon and tries to hit him for two with Pierce of two. Okay, so he hits him for one, I guess, because he has two Pierce and shield of three. So yeah. that means he still blocks me. He blocks one. He has shield of one. Yeah, one damage. Hmm. And then my slime guy attacks this guy, the sun demon, I guess, mm -hmm. for one and muddle. For one and muddle. The sun demon. Oh, for muddle. Yeah, because he has a shield. Okay. Muddle. Oh, the sun demon has advantage. Oh, whoops. Yeah, whoops. Well, it did pretty well. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, we oh, well. Um, okay, and you're doing the thingy, and then Hale keeps doing her thingy. So now it's... Are we on turn five now? I think, oh, yeah, it says next next round is five. Oh, wait, next round is six. We were on round five. Okay, next round is six. But we have two more summons, or two more demons up here. Oh, right. Um. Okay, now we have night, night and wind. Night and wind. This things are getting hairy here. Yeah. Okay, round six. Holy crap. I don't know if we can do this. <laughs> I guess we can. We just need to heal hail. Yeah, and I'm going to do that this next turn. How hurt is she? She is at four of eight, so. Can you do it was... earlier in the round or what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can go fairly early. Hi. Hello. My uh, strategery is here. Hi. With the popsicle. Um, yeah, remember when strategery was made fun of? Yeah. <laughs> this is the office of strategy here. The officer of strategy. Could you please go tell your daddy that um, the reason the dogs are closed in is because they got out again and Banner was at the neighbor's house? Yeah. Banner has become very good at finding holes in the fence, which there's not actually holes in the fence, but there are places he can dig under the house and then he goes under the house and the back of the house is not fenced. So then he goes to the neighbor's house. How hurt are you? I am not very hurt at all. I'm doing all right. I, I, I'm down two points total. I don't have very many options here. Um, okay, I'm gonna try these two. I don't know if this will work out. Okay, but I've got 29. I have 25. Oh, I forgot to spawn the night demon. Okay, it's your turn first. Wind demon. Okay. So first, my wolf guy tries to beat up this flame guy again for two and hits for two with Pierce. So I guess that's again just one point of damage. Yeah. 
the math there is very strange. I don't quite get it, but that's okay. Um, and then my slime guy is going to attack the sun demon for one and muddle times two for two and muddle, except the sun guy has shield of one, so it's one and muddled. And then it's my turn. I'm healing hail for three. One, two, three. And then I am um what am I doing? Attacking the sun guy. That's what I'm doing. I'm attacking the sun guy for two. Uh ooh, with a wound. Minus one and a wound. So I hit him for one. I said he's shielded, right? Uh-huh. But he's wounded now. Okay. So there you have it. My ridiculous turn is done. Okay. Now it's a ridiculous turn. Um, I am... One adjacent ally may perform attack four. So your wolf guy can do an attack of four. Okay. Attack four plus one. He's dead. So, yeah, he's dead. Oops. Dead. And then one adjacent ally. Oh, not adjacent. One ally within range three can move four. Would you rather move or would you want your wolf to move? You guess your wolf, huh? Yeah, probably my wolf. Okay, your wolf can move four spaces. Should I send it over to the night demon? Or next to hail? Oh no, I guess I don't yeah, control. Because this guy's gonna move forward. Okay, but wouldn't he work under summons laws instead of, it doesn't say with you controlling the actions, does it? Mm-mm. -mm. Okay, then he's going to move over to the Night Demon. Yeah. Because sure. one, two. But at least now he's blocking over there. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, that's my turn. Um, the Wind Demon is going to push all adjacent enemies. So it pushes the slime this way, I think. Yeah, I think so. And then attack to range three. So attacks the slime guy for zero damage. And the okay. knight demon um, doesn't need to move, is going to attack your wolf with R5. Awesome. Ooh. Five minus one, four points of damage on your wolfie. He's dead. But at least Hale isn't dead. <laughs> and then the flame demon, oh, is dead. Uh, the sun demon. Takes a, takes a point of damage because he's wounded. Right, this flame, the sun demon is now at four. Uh, he's got movement two, attack two, range three. So he has to move out of range. I think he moves. I don't, uh, it doesn't, I think we can choose where he moves, right? Like either here or here. He's going to attack slimy. I think he should move back onto the loop so that he's not next to Hale. Okay, so he, he attacks Slimer. Um, draws a plus zero, so that's zero points of damage to slime. Um, and the earth demon moves one, attack two. I With area of effect. Yeah. Wait, is that area of effect if there's stuff? No. 
Well, wait. So the sun demon, because there is a flame icon, makes the sun icon uh, regenerate, right? When did the flame icon happen? When the previous round, when the flame demon did something, generator flame. Oh, okay. Icon. So it's a good thing we killed him because I'm... it's going to do a AOE with that flame icon. <laughs> um, now the earth demon, uh, there's a sun icon, so it's going to create a green icon and use up the sun icon. Okay. That's ridiculous. But it's going to move one. And I guess the question is, is Hale now within reach of his AOE here? Oh, no. Hale's not, because it's going to yeah. be these three or these three. <laughs> so the Earth Demon doesn't do anything. Cool. Yeah, that was lucky. OK, next round. Oh, wait, we have to spawn more guys. Yeah, we do. So round what seven and we're those spawning. spaces are occupied. Do people do they just spawn next to them? The spaces aren't occupied. We're we're spawning at B and we're spawning at B and C. We are? Oh you're right. Okay. Yeah. What's next? What's the order? So we just did a wind demon, so now it's a frost demon and a sun demon. Another sun demon. Yeah. Frost demon and sun demon. So sun demon, same place where it was, right? No. You've got a flame demon. You put a flame demon instead of a sun demon. Oh, you're right. And a frost demon. Oh my goodness. Okay, now it's the next round. Um, and now it's round seven. Yep. Whew. Okay. We have a green thing in it. I mean, as long as she survives round 10, the demons aren't, we don't have to kill the demons. It's just a matter of getting to the end of round 10. Yeah, start summoning more people. <laughs> yeah, that was what I was about to start doing because I've been trying to hold on so that it's not, um, you know, I don't run out of cards too soon because I don't know if my summons actually do anything if I get exhausted. Yeah. I'm not sure that that's a thing that happens, so. Does anyone need healing? Um, I don't think so. Oh wait, I totally forgot that my other wolfie died. Um, I guess I'm ready. I have 18. I have 92. Yeah, this next even goes first. Move four, attack three. Um, the night demon is just going to move one towards me. Mm -hmm. Attack three plus zero. So um, does one point of damage to me because of my shields and takes two points of damage itself. OK. And then causes a darkness. A darkness to appear. <laughs> a, a shadow to appear, I guess. Um, yeah. Then I'm gonna. Well, that's sucky. I'm gonna shield up myself. <laughs> so now I have shield three. Um, and I'm gonna attack and stun this uh, sun guy. Attack him for okay. uh, three points. 
He's got a shield of some sort, right? He has a shield of one. Okay, so tag him for two points. Um, but it's done. That's the important thing. Okay. Um, okay, so now the wind demon has a move of four, attack two, range three, and a pull. So I don't think it needs to move because it's already not within range. It's just going to attack your Slimer. Yeah, I think so. And pull your Slimer to it. So attack a two plus one. But your Slime has a shield two, so one point of damage to Slime. OK. And then pull the Slime forward one. Do we want, them, do we want your Slime here or here? Um, I would prefer in between the two of them. Okay. The um, Sun Demons, this guy is stunned, so he doesn't get to move, but he's stunned. Okay. Right. This guy has Muddle and a wound, so he takes a wound, and he's going to move and attack, so it doesn't need to move, but it's going to attack your slime guy for three points, misses. Sweet. So nothing happens. Then the frost demon has a move to attack three. So I think moves two towards your slime guy. Attacks him for three and causes a uh, frost icon. He draws a plus one, so uh, and then minus two for the shield, so two points to the slime. Dang it, he dead. Ice uh, slimer. It took a long time, but he finally died. And now it's your turn. Okay. I am summoning my thorn shooter and I'm going to summon it on the far side of hail. Um, what is that? Red one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. And then um, I have this two summon allies perform attack plus zero with me controlling the action. So I can already use him. Um, and he's going to shoot the, he's going to shoot the night demon for two and poison for, oh. Because I have disadvantage. Oh, well, it doesn't matter for three and poison. So the night demon took three points of damage and is now poisoned. And awesome. that is my turn. Okay. The earth demon has a move of zero, so it's not moving. Attack two against all adjacent enemies, no one. And that's it. Okay. That's it. Cool. Next. So who gets summoned now? I've got a thorn shooter. What? I mean, we're at the end. What was your question? Who gets summoned now? A flame. Oh. A flame and night. Right? No. No. We, we did. Earth and flame. Earth and flame. Yeah, earth and flame. So, so the question is. Um, the spot where the earth guy appeared. That wind guy is in the way. Hmm? The, where the flame guy needs to spawn is full of wind demon. Right. So does he spawn adjacent or does he not spawn at all? It doesn't say. It doesn't say. <laughs> is there a rule on summoning? Or spawning? Um, 
There was something about if they don't have an adjacent spot to go, like if I were to summon and there wasn't an adjacent spot for me to summon, I wouldn't get to summon. So it's possible that since there's just one in the way. If there are no available hexes, the summon ability cannot be used. I think it doesn't appear. Yeah. Based on summoning rules, which is kind of what we're doing because we're not giving them a turn on the, on the turn that they're being spawned on. We're treating them like summons. Okay. All right. So then I guess on the next turn, it would be a flame demon and a night demon. I guess so. Okay. Yeah, so now we're on turn eight. Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> what do we got now? We've got the Night Demon has one hit point. Sun Demon has a wound in three points. Eesh, okay. Does anyone need healing? I don't think so. Hail's only down one hit point, so. Yeah. I have 23. I have 94. What did you say, 43 or 23? 23. Ooh, man, okay, this uh, Frosty was going first. It's uh, shielding up and then moving okay. pieces. Um. I think just moving here next to you and Hale. Yeah. And then that's all it does. The wind demon uh, moves four, attack two, range three. You're within range. Um, the wind demon attacks you for two points, minus one, so one point of damage. Okay. So close the forward one space. Okay. And causes a causes a wind token to appear. And then my turn. I'm gonna whack this. Um should I should I hmm, I guess I should Night Demon is gonna Night Demon is gonna whack me for five points. Ooh, for seven points to the night symbol. The sun demon is gonna move and attack. Oh shoot, I gotta plug in my computer. Okay, I'm gonna I have to have the light demon so it doesn't do seven points of damage to me. Yeah, that sounded like he was gonna do the most damage to you, so. Yeah, definitely is. Plus zero, uh, night demons. Oh, wait, I have disadvantage on this. Plus zero or times two. So plus zero, so I do four points of damage to the night demon. He's dead. Um, and then I can. Oh, yeah, because he was poisoned, so you did extra damage to him anyway. So he's extra dead. He's extra dead. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to move here, one space. Okay. Because the Sun Demon can only move one, so it's going to have disadvantage when it attacks me. And now it's the first guy's turn. Ooh, both Earth guys aren't at all. <laughs> They heal themselves. No, 
and that's all they do. They just heal themselves. They're not hurt, so nothing happens. Um, okay. Night Demon is dead. It's your turn. Okay. I am summoning a limping bomb into this space between all three of them. Where am I? So, oops. Um. Yep. And then I'm recovering up to four of my lost cards. So I'm basically just picking up Does that include stuff in my discard pile, do you think? Because I've only got three cards in my lost cards pile. I don't think so. It says it says specifically lost, right? Yeah, it does say specifically lost. All right, then I'm also picking up my thorn shooter for now, and I will redeploy my thorn shooter on the next turn. OK. And Wait, the, that is my turn. Did you have your thorn shooter or hmm? shoot? Did your thorn shooter shoot? Oh, I forgot that my thorn shooter. Okay, so my thorn shooter shot. Where was my thorn shooter? Right here. Here, right? Yeah. Okay, so he shot the sun demon for, hold on, let me look at him. Does for two and poison. Thorn shooter has to shoot someone who's closest, right? Or does it not matter because it's within range? It's ranged, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Because okay. I guess he shoots the earth guy instead. Wait, the, who has the higher initiative? Who has the higher initiative? Oh, the sun demon hasn't gone. He shoots the earth guy for okay. two and poison, still for two and poison. So he poisoned that one earth guy before I, I retrieved him. And my, and that's it. That's my turn. Oh, wait. No, never mind. I retrieved him instead. That is my turn. Okay. So then the sun demon his turns. Okay. One guy takes damage at the beginning of his turn. Uh, I don't think he's modeled anymore. Um, no, he's not. He attacks me. So he has a move of one. Attack two, range four. It doesn't matter where he moves. He's still going to be at disadvantage, so he doesn't bother moving at all, right? Text me. Yeah. So plus one or minus one. So it hits me for one, and I have two shields up right now, so it hits me for nothing. The other guy okay. is right here. He's going to move, I guess, here. OK. And then shoot your slime guy. Wait, it's what not is a slam guy anymore. It's a bomb. All right, shoots shoots the bomb. Yep. Um, draws a minus one, so one point of damage to the bomb. Well, fortunately for us, that's all the damage it takes. So my bomb uh, hits everything within range two for three points. And does a and does a flame. So he turns on the flame, and he hits the he hits everything. Uh, all yeah, all for these guys. So I guess just starting with the sun guy because he's the one that hit him uh, for three times two, so for six, uh, okay. which is oh sun. minus one for the shield, so for five. And then he hits, whatever, I guess we'll just go clockwise. The wind guy for three plus zero. So the wind guy takes three damage. Oh no, he takes one damage because he has shield of two. And then the frost guy, three minus one. So two points of damage to the frost guy. And he can't retaliate because my guy died in this process. <laughs> and then the Earth Demon, three points plus one, so four points of damage 
to the earth guy. And now my living mom is dead. Okay. And I have to shuffle my. Which, that was the whole point of that guy, so. Yeah. Okay, now it's the next round. Except we have some summons. So, only one guy can be summoned here, right? Yeah, so it'll be that flame guy again. Or that couldn't get summoned last time, right? Yeah. And then, and but we're on round. Oh, wait, the sun guy still has to go, right? No, that was the sun guy. Oh, no, the sun guy, that was the sun guy that just got everybody whacked. We're right. on round nine. We're on round nine. We're almost there. All right. Oh, and I'm doing a short rest, I forgot to say. Okay. Does anyone need healing? <laughs> I don't think so. Although, I'm wondering if you should go stand next to, well, how, how far of a range for your healing? Three. Okay. Um, I would save the healing for the start of the next turn just in case because yeah. we have to get her through round 10. Okay, what should I do this time? have a crazy idea. <laughs> so starts the beginning of every epic turn. <laughs> Just a, an interesting idea. I have 29. Okay, I have 86. Okay, me first. Um, I am going to allow one ally within range three to move four. Can I make Hale move here? Okay. <laughs> Does she have to stay at the altar? Well, she's still next to the altar. I mean, That's I guess question. she that, could. That, is that allowable? It says she is an ally to you, so I don't see a reason why you couldn't, I guess. Okay, I'm making her move here. <laughs> it seems a little bit more protected. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm <gonna> Somewhere... <laughs> uh... <laughs> the designers of the game are like, I sense a disturbance. In scenario 27. <laughs> they deliberately say Hale counts as an ally. They do say that. Okay, I'm attacking <laughs> this guy for two and a stun. Well, okay. No, I forgot to shuffle these. If I hit, at least I stun it. Whammies plus zero. So the sun guy has a shield of one uh three. No, that's I'm looking at the sun guy. The sun guy has a shield of one, so I hit it for one. And a stun. And a stun. Okay. Okay. And for my turn. The flame guy, right here, newly spawned. All adjacent enemies suffer two damage. No one's adjacent. Move three. Oh, there's no flame. Oh, there is a flame, but not. He doesn't. Yeah, do there it. is. Does he use up the flame? Even though I no one. I don't know. Maybe. Like it just goes off, you know. 
Yeah, maybe. Yeah, because he just like flamed out. Right. Okay, that flame goes away. Um, now he has a move of three, attack one, range three. Ooh. He's going to go for me. Where are you? Wait. He's going I'm for, oh, well, you're close. Five, four. Yeah, he's going for me. Uh, if he if he moves two here, he's gonna hit both. Oh, of us. then he can target two. Yeah, he's he's hitting both of us. Okay, one two. He's causing, a, he's causing a wound on us. Boo! Attack me first. Be wounded. Plus zero. Um, he does zero damage to me, but I'm wounded. Okay. Where's this to be wounded? Oops. Okay, and then, ooh, I drew it two times against you. How uh, much? How? Two points of damage. Two points of damage and a wound? Yeah. Sad. Okay. Um, okay, the frost guy moves for attack two. Doesn't need to move, attacks you for two. Sad. Plus one. Three. Okay. The wind guy has a move of three, attack three, range three. Doesn't need to move, attacks you for three. Plus two, five points. Cheesy Pete. Um, okay, I'm gonna dump a card. Are you you're at five hit points or something? I was gonna be at one hit point. So, yeah, that seems like a bad plan, <laughs> especially because there's still more people to attack me. Yeah, there's still the earth guys and some demons. <laughs> okay, yeah. so the earth guys has a move of one, attack three. So this guy moves forward one onto the loot, but does not attack anyone. Mm -hmm. Causes a, a, a green icon to appear. The okay. other guy, I guess, moves this way one and also doesn't attack anyone. Then the sun demons, that guy has a wound and dies. No, he doesn't. He still had two health. He had one he? health. I had him marked down as one oh. health. I hit him. I hit him and stunned him. No, that was the other guy. No, that was the other guy. What? You hit and stunned, you hit and stunned the other sun demon, I think, not the one that I had wounded. No, the one that you had wounded was right here. Because this guy just got summoned, like, right? Wasn't it your doggy who no. hit with this guy like a long time ago? Okay, I guess you're right. Yes, I had another way. Of I had the other way around. I'll put them back. <laughs> I mean, so, they're both down to one point, but... Which one's wounded, then? The one, guy, the one by the Earth Demon. Yeah, that guy's wounded. According to my notes. Okay, but so he moves two, and then attacks you for three, right? Yes. Plus zero. Three points. Okay, that I can take. And then the other guy who's not wounded okay. has one hit point. How many hit points does this guy have? Yes. Okay. Just one. Just one. He uh, moves and attacks, doesn't need to move, attacks me for minus one, uh, does zero points because I have two shields up, and then dies because he has, because I have retaliate. Okay, dead. Man, there's loot everywhere. <laughs> yeah, now it's your turn. Okay. I take one point of damage for this wound that I have, and then I'm moving back one, and I am ah, dropping my card on all of the bad guys. I'm summoning my slime spirit again. 
between me and all of those bad guys. Mm -hmm. And this is a red one. He has four. One. And I have to take a short rest now. And that's my turn. Um, we summoned a flame demon. The next guy is a night demon right here. Okay. And this is our last turn. Yes. So just go and pick up all the loot. <laughs> Hale doesn't die and pick up all the well, loot. We, have to protect, we still have to protect Hale in the midst of all of this. And yeah, yeah. there are a lot of <laughs> Make sure Hale doesn't die and pick up all the loot. Do you want me to heal you now? <laughs> um, I'm down to just two. And with my wound, I'm going to get one more. So. Probably. Even if nobody hits me, so a heal would not be bad. <laughs> a heal will only get rid of your wound, though, right? No, wound is one that it heals with your healing. Poison yeah. is the one that uses up the heal. So I guess the question is, would we rather I heal you or attack someone, you know? I mean, I guess as long as Hale survives, it doesn't really matter if you heal me or not. I think we'd rather heal you so that there are more targets for them besides Hale. It's probably true. Okay. I have 18. I have 25. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the flame demon uh, is going to move to and then create a damage trap in an adjacent empty hex closest to an enemy. That's not bad. Um, moves to towards me, I guess, because I'm her lowest initiative. Yeah. And then create the trap next to me right there. And then causes this green thing to go away and causes a flame appear to instead. Okay. The night demon has a move of three, attack three. So moves two spaces to me, attacks me for three plus zero. I have two um, shields, so hits me for one. Um, and then it converts. It takes two damage because I have retaliate. Okay, but then it also converts that the flame one and night. A lot of conversion going on here. Okay. Yeah. Um, on my turn, I take a damage because I'm wounded. I'm at 12. Okay. Then I <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, I'm going to use my boots and move three spaces. One, two, three. Wait, I think I'm confused about where things are. Where's the damage trap? It's like between these three monsters now. Oh, okay. And then the flame guy is next to the altar. Was next? Yeah, next to Hale. Okay. That was yeah. that was what was confusing. I just jumped over the flame guy to be next to you. Okay. 
Okay. You've left Hale unprotected. But they're all going to come after me because I have lowest initiative. That's true. Um, and actually, I should be away from you guys, I think, in case they have AOE. I'm going to go right here next to the altar. I have a sun guy there. I don't know what happened. That's where I have the sun guy. I mean, where you just put him. Yeah, I think I probably moved the strong guy at some point. Like, I thought I was moving the flame guy, and I moved the sun guy instead. OK. And I'm healing you for three points. OK. And causing a sun icon to appear. OK. Um, and then I'm also going to heal myself with this healing potion for five points. Which I should have done last turn. Oh. Okay, it's your turn. Okay. I am... Or your summon first, right? Oh, yeah. My slime spirit is going to attack the sun demon, I guess, that it's next to for one point and muddle. So it does nothing except muddle him. Wait, don't attack him because he's gonna um, die because he has one wound and a and a wound. Oh, okay. So then he attacks the frost guy. Sure. For one and muddle, he got plus zero, so one and muddled, and then the retaliate bounces off of my slime shield. Okay. And then. I am going to I'm going to stay where I am. That was a waste of a card. And summon my two shadow wolves just for funsies. To provide more target, basically. Okay. And that's it. That's my turn. All right. We've got a wind demon right here. Push adjacent enemies. There's no one adjacent. Attack two, range three. So attacks your slime. Okay. For zero points of damage. Okay. And the frost demon. Right there. It's gonna move range of two, so it's gonna move away. Has a move of two, so it's gonna go here, I think. Right? Or could he could go back here. Yeah, let's move him that way. Okay. And then shoots me, right? Oh wait, range of two, so I can't. He can't move there. He has to move. Let's move him here, next to the spawn point. Okay. And then shoots me, um, for three points, minus one, two points. I have a sh I've shield up, so it does zero. The okay. Earth demon is gonna. This guy's gonna move forward one to where the frost guy used to be, and then attacks me, I believe. I it's guess gonna, it's an area of effect. Oh. Yeah, it's gonna attack these three spaces. So me and one of your shadow guys, one of your wolves. Okay. okay. Me and one of your wolves. So against me, it was gonna be plus one. So that's three points minus two because of my thingy. Uh, so one point of damage to me. And then against your shadow wolf, Plus one, so three points against your shadow wolf. He did. Good job, wolf. These wolfies. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that earth demon causes one of these symbols to go away. I think we get to choose which one and causes a green symbol to appear instead. How about the night? I don't think, okay. I don't think we really care. 
Yeah, we really don't care. Oh, wait. No, we don't want him to do the night one. Well, it doesn't matter because the sun demon would muddle himself. Oh, yeah. Well, the sun demon is going to die because it has a wound. That's true, but that would also be hilarious. <laughs> oh, wait. The, earth, yeah, the other earth demon is going to go and cause the sun icon to disappear and cause green to appear doubly so, right? Yeah. <laughs> so this Double guy, green. This guy doesn't need to move, right? And it's just going to attack. Yeah, just hit my wolf. Hit your wolf, but then also hit you, right? Oh, yeah. Hit me and the wolf, yep. Yeah, hit you and the wolf. So hit your wolf or minus one, so one point. Wait, no. He doesn't hit me because I'm not in that area of effect. Yeah, hit you. Does he, so he can move though. Does he move so that he can hit you? Probably yes, to maximize the amount of damage. So he probably does this, wink. Yeah. And then hits us, yeah. Okay, so he, he hits you for one. I mean, he, sorry, he hits your wolf for one. Okay. And he, he hits you for two. Wolf is okay. Okay. And then the sun demon uh, implodes. Kaboom. And, and now we so just- So wanna... much wasted loot. Do you know what? What's that? I missed getting my card by one point of damage. Oh no. <laughs> wow. I, I have three hit points and I needed two. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. Let's let's read the ending. <laughs> that's not mine. short rest. That one was easy. Yeah, that one is pretty easy, unless you have trouble. But All right. All right. I will read the conclusion since you read the introduction. Okay. Hail. I forgot that we were supposed, to, like, we were supposed to do voices. <laughs> yeah, but I was bad at voices, so. Hale screams out with hair-raising intensity. You look to her, afraid that more demons got past you and are attacking her. Instead, you see her pulling her hand back out of the rift. Her forearm is withered and smoking. Yikes. As her gnarled fingers clear the chaotic energies of the rift, it wavers and begins to shrink. A great wind picks up in the chamber, and the demons fighting with you show fear for the first time. Instead of digging their claws into you, they grab at the stone floor, desperate to stop the pull of the rift. Their efforts are futile, however. Every last one is sucked back into their own plane. The tear shrinks to one brilliant point and disappears. Hail collapses and you run to her side. Oh, don't mind me, she coughs. I'll be fine. This old body has seen far worse. She breaks into a fit of coughing that soon turns into laughter. That really was something, though, wasn't it? If there's one thing I can depend on you for, it's a challenge. Here, help me up. I need to get back to Gloomhaven immediately. I have many new thoughts from my research. Feel free to come by any time and I'll figure out some way to properly thank you. Global achievement, the rift is neutralized, plus one prosperity, a hundred gold each that we have to spend on enhancements. Damn. Yeah, that was pretty decent. So we're up to 20 prosperity now. Which means we get Two stuff more. Yeah, we are now at the highest prosperity level, and we get a new road event and a new city event. So you get to add in. Where'd my pen go? You get to add in city event 76 and road event 67. Wait, hold on. Uh, city event, which one? City event 76 and road event 67. Okay. And then we get the global achievement rift neutralized. I don't see it here. The rift neutralized. It's what not showing up on this. 
there's there's the rift closed. Is that different? It's different. This app has the rift neutralized. This is weird. I think it just this app must call it a different thing because the rift closed isn't on the global list. So I'm gonna count it as the rift closed. But we'll just remember that it's the rift neutralized. Okay. So what uh, global then, do we have so far? Uh, let me look. We have uh, um, we have city rule, militaristic, artifact, cleansed, the merchant, please, the power of enhancement, water breathing, the rift neutralized, and one each of end of corruption and ancient technology. And enhancement is going to take me way longer than will be exciting for anybody watching at home. So, so okay. I've got, you said artifact cleanse, merchant fleas, power of enhancement, water breathing, ancient technology. Mm -hmm. uh, one ancient technology. Yep. And then one end of corruption. End of corruption. We can get up to three of those. Okay. And okay, so how do these enhancements work? So we have to pay um, based on the level of ability card and then also for the base cost and things like that. Um, Where, where is my foreign shooter? Once players have completed the power of enhancement global achievement, they can spend gold while visiting the enhanced power of the card. Place the desired sticker from the enhancement sticker sheet onto a designated spot. The sticker denotes a permanent enhancement to that ability. Ability card from enhancement right away. Oh, okay. Yikes, okay, geez. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of rules about it, so I think I'm gonna wait and do it yeah, later. I think uh, also my character my character is like um the the guides all talk about it, how enhancement is like the way to go with my character, so I'm pretty sure there's a guide to help me. Okay. I need a, and then how much experience did it? Oh, how much experience do we get? It was a level two dungeon. Oh. So we got eight experience. Eight plus twelve. I made another level. <laughs> what you made a level? I made another level. Damn. Good grief. So I gotta play with that too. Yep. So yeah, I'm gonna save all of that for later because nobody wants to sit here and watch me read cards and figure out what is happening with my character. I assume anyway, because <laughs> I wouldn't want to watch that. Okay, I have a question for you. Okay. We want to submit something to the Well Played Journal about playing games during a pandemic. Uh, I think so. I was thinking we should just play a scenario of this game, but then be a little bit more um, talky and referencing academic stuff or uh, referencing well played stuff or something like that <laughs> while we're playing. Right? I think that makes sense. Yeah. So maybe I don't, I'll create a Google Doc with a list of topics we could talk about, I guess, and we could brainstorm topics. That sounds good. Because I think that, uh, well, the, the CFP suggested that they're looking for 
people talking about like what playing games means to them during this pandemic and things like that, right? Yeah. And that's and like how you're doing it. Yeah. It's the special pandemic issue. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think that makes a, a lot of sense to do it like you're suggesting. Okay. We could do it in the format of like where we ask each other questions or something like that. I'm on board with that, yeah. Okay. When is a good time for you to actually I'm gonna start recording. <laughs> yeah. See you everyone. Next issue. I mean next episode will probably be the pandemic issue or episode, I mean. <laughs> yeah.